Empress Ariadne is depicted on an ivory diptych leaf in Vienna. There are numerous portraits of Ariadne because of her dominant position in the imperial court and repeated status as the sole heir to the throne. Ariadne was the daughter of Emperor Leo I and Verena. She was the wife of two emperors, the mother of one emperor, and even the sister of a usurper emperor. Since her father, Leo I, had no sons, her marriages served to perpetuate the dynasty. When Leo I died in 474, his young grandson, Leo II, son of Ariadne, briefly ruled before he also died later that year. Ariadne's husband, Zeno, formerly the head of the Imperial Guard, then became emperor. Basiliscus, with the help of Arena, his mother, drove Zeno out of Constantinople, ruling for around a year and a half. It is unclear whether Ariadne was involved in the revolt of her brother. Her husband Zeno returned to the throne in 476. When Zeno died in 491, Ariadne came to dominate the imperial court and selected Anastasius I to be the next emperor. Diptychs, like the one depicting Ariadne, were two-leaved folding writing tables, commonly used in late antiquity. The ivory came from the tusk of African and Indian elephants, which had been considered a luxurious material since classical antiquity. This depiction of the Empress gives an impressive picture of the Byzantine court ceremonial. However, it differs considerably from earlier Roman imperial portraits, as personal aspects were suppressed in favor of more general attributes of the ruler. Empress Ariadne is enthroned under a shell-shaped canopy with two eagles. The curtains have been tied back, exposing the empress to view. She sits in a high-backed throne, and her feet rest on a footstool. She is clad in richly decorated robes. She wears a typical crown with a pearl diadem and earrings attached with hanging chains. She holds a globe with a cross in her left hand, where her right hand is raised in a gesture of blessing. A similar ivory diptych leaf can be found in Florence.